Hello boys and girls. Welcome back to the Bible Story Corner with your host, the Bible Story Lady. That's right, me. Okay, so we have been learning all about the different things that have been happening within the last 24 hours of Jesus' life here on earth. And so much has happened. So remember, Jesus was in the upper room with the disciples having the Last Supper. And while he was having the meal with the disciples, he told them that they were about to face some tough times, but not to worry about it, that he would give them peace through it, right? Well, the disciples still didn't understand what Jesus was talking about, and they pretty much wondered, I wonder what's about to happen. Okay, so then remember when we left off and Jesus and disciples were in the garden praying. After praying for some time, all of a sudden, the disciples heard the sound of marching boots. Let's see what happens. It was a group of Roman soldiers. With them was Judas, one of the disciples. Judas had taken a payment of 30 pieces of silver in order to betray Jesus and turn him over to the Romans. The Roman soldiers arrested Jesus and took him to face the religious leaders. The religious leaders were so jealous of Jesus. They thought Jesus was becoming way too popular among the people. So they made up things about him and claimed that he had broken laws that he actually did not. But Jesus didn't defend himself. He actually kept silent and let them accuse him of these terrible things. What happened next was horrible. The soldiers beat Jesus with a whip. They punched him and kicked him. Then they created a crown made out of thorns and jammed it into his head. He began to bleed terribly. The whole time, Jesus just kept silent and didn't fight against them. Jesus was brought before Pilate, which, who was a judge of that time. And Pilate couldn't find that Jesus had done anything wrong. But the religious leaders insisted that Jesus was guilty. So Pilate let the crowd decide. Huh. Pilate asked the crowd what they wanted to do with Jesus. Sadly, the crowd yelled, crucify him. So to crucify someone meant to nail them to a wooden cross. And that is what happened to Jesus. Jesus was led to the top of a hill outside of the city. It was there that the soldiers nailed his hands and feet to a cross. The soldiers laughed at him and made fun of him. But instead of getting angry, Jesus actually just prayed, Father, forgive them. They don't realize what they are doing. Wow, boys and girls, I mean, getting intense. So Jesus died on the cross that day and there was actually a series of choices that happened that led to him dying on the cross. And you're going to learn all about those tough choices today. So pay close attention because this could change your life. All right, agents in training, let's talk about a very important power verse today. It says, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. John 3.16 That was a great power verse. Good morning! Good morning, TikTok. You're especially happy this morning. Oh, let me check. You're right! And according to my calculations, it's a splendid time to be happy. And I love it! But I especially love happy time! What's with the streamers? These aren't streamers. These are souvenirs from my latest time travel journey. Good grief. Here we go again. Once again, agents, time travel is not real. That's just what Xenon 12 said to me about 150 years from now. So yeah, like this supercomputer tries to take over America and make itself president, but I talked him out of it by showing him some pictures of cats. Anyway, so like I told you before, these are not streamers. These are gonna help with today's lesson. 
Good grief, I'm going to ignore all that supercomputer stuff. If they aren't streamers, then what are they? Goliath sandal straps? No, silly, he liked to be barefoot. This is ancient Chinese dental floss from the year 1213 BC. Dental floss? How is something that big dental floss? It's just a prototype, but I wanna see if it works. Can you unhinge your jaw like a giant snake? You've gone bonkers. I don't know what giant Chinese ancient dental floss has to do with today's lesson. Now, if you're done being silly, we still have a little time left to finish it. Oh, I already know all about that. You're gonna be telling the agents all about choices, most specifically, God's choices. Now, you're gonna be telling them that God chose his son, Jesus, his one and only son, to come here. And Jesus didn't have to come here, but he chose to leave heaven to come down here to earth. Those are both true. And part of what makes the cross so powerful is Jesus chose to die for us. Nobody forced him to do it. Um, he actually could have had a whole army of angels come down and rescue him, but Jesus loved the world so much that he chose to die for us. Once again, you're absolutely right. I've just got one thing left to say. Pumpkin weasels. Pumpkin weasels? Ha! I got you, you so-called time traveler. If you really were a time traveler, you would have seen that coming, but you didn't, so I got you. Didn't I? Didn't I? <gasps> uh-huh, see? I knew you were gonna say that. So now, I recorded your little victory dance for all my friends to see throughout history. What? Well, whatever that dance was, it's about to be in all the history books. Congratulations. Oh, come on. Time travel isn't real. If it is, where is your time machine? I couldn't possibly tell you that, but I'll give you a clue. It involves green pea soup and a broken escalator. That doesn't make any sense. Well, who says it has to? All right, agents. I'm TikTok and I'm out of time. See ya. Well, that was interesting and embarrassing. But let's learn more about tough choices. Over to you, Agent Fanta. Hello, agents in training. My name is Agent LaCroix, and this is Agent Fanta. And today, you're going to learn more about tough choices. Life is full of choices. Some are easy, like what color of socks to put on in the morning? Blue or black? Hmm. Or there's the easy choice of which type of cereal to eat for breakfast. Even when playing, there are some choices to make that aren't too hard, like which video game system is better? Those choices are easy, but some choices we have to make in life are really tough. Choices like where to go to college, what job or career we want, or even who we will marry. Those aren't easy choices at all. Choices are just part of being a human being. The choices we make can make or break our futures. But we are not the only ones who have had to make some tough choices. For the next few minutes, I want to show you some tough choices that had to be made that affected all of us. We learned in our Bible story that Jesus died on the cross, but I want to tell you the story behind the story and show you some tough choices that had to be made. God chose to send Jesus. God is the creator of the entire universe. He is the ruler of all. He is the greatest power that ever was or ever will be. He doesn't have to do anything, does he? Nobody can make God do anything. He does what he pleases. God is our Heavenly Father. He created us to be in a relationship with him. Adam and Eve, the first humans he created, walked with God in the Garden of Eden. However, when they chose to sin, they were separated from God. Sin is anything that goes against God's command that we find in the Bible. Romans 6.23 says, the payment for sin is death. So God made one of the toughest choices of all. Our power verse teaches us about that tough choice. 
It says, For this is how God loved the world. He gave His one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish, but have eternal life. God chose to send His one and only Son, Jesus, to come to earth and die in our place. That's a tough choice. Can you imagine being a parent and choosing to let your child die in someone else's place when they were innocent? That is a tough choice. But that's how much God loved us. He chose to send Jesus to earth. Not only that, but Jesus chose to leave heaven. Jesus lived in heaven, the most perfect place in the universe. He had the perfect life as the son of the creator of all things. However, Jesus chose to leave all of that to come to earth and be born as a baby. Now, if you remember, Jesus was born in a stable with a bunch of animals around. And that's not exactly a birth fit for a king, is it? That's why Jesus' choice to leave heaven is so amazing. He left a perfect home to come to be a human being just like us. But the toughest choice of all was Jesus chose to die on a cross. Jesus let the men arrest him. He didn't say a word. Jesus let the religious leaders accuse him, even though he was innocent. Jesus let the soldiers beat him and nail him to a cross. He didn't fight them. As the Son of God, Jesus could have called 10,000 angels at any time to come and destroy the soldiers who were mistreating him. But he didn't. He chose to die on a cross. Why? Because of you. Because of me. Jesus knew that this was the only way we could ever receive eternal life and forgiveness of our sin. Jesus chose to die in your place. Most of us can't imagine choosing to take someone else's punishment when we are innocent. Can you imagine if your brother or sister disobeyed your parents and then chose to take their punishment for them? Most of us would probably never make that choice, but Jesus chose exactly that just for you and me. Today, we are going to thank Him for making that tough choice. As we remember what Jesus did for us, let's thank Him and worship Him together.